The Canada Niger Binational Commission was established in 2012, but diplomatic relations date back to 1962. In 2015, Nigeria was Canada's second largest bilateral merchandise trading partner in sub Saharan Africa, with bilateral merchandise trade totaling $1.45 billion. In 2015, Canadian merchandise imports from Nigeria totaled $981 million. It is against this backdrop that this visit finds significance. But beyond trade, Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs would love to see greater cooperation in security and counterterrorism, development and governance, and then of course migration. And we look to our partners, our friends, you know, to um, share experiences with us, to provide support uh, in areas they feel they can, and advice. This is the first time Canada's foreign minister is in sub-Saharan Africa. His brief is to ensure trade and cooperation between Nigeria and its country increase. His country has played a big role in providing succor for internet displaced persons in the Northeast, providing $8 million and another $19 million Canadian dollars to help fight polio. For him, Nigeria is a complex country, one which has defied all negative uh, predictions. So-called experts that have predicted that you would not be able to go through all your difficulties have always been wrong. Nigeria is still there. So it's complex because you're a giant, a huge country. Uh, more complex even than Canada. It's not. It's quite something. Fitch Ratings has projected a 2.6% growth in Nigeria's gross domestic product for 2017. But if this is to happen, it will need a friend like Canada to achieve that. From the Federal Capital, Shegmujumu, STV News.